I think the Abarth 124 is a great car and very underrated for what it is. Now, convertibles always get a bad rep for being a hairdresser's car. That's a, that's a given. But I guess that's sort of a sacrifice you take for having a great looking car and a car you can enjoy on sunny days. I imagine the rep you get for it in the UK is much worse than that of the US. And I know for a fact, if you go around driving convertible SL or SLK, SLC, you're going to get called a hairdresser over here. You can't deny the great looking cars. Now, they're very impractical for what they are, but the intention of their creation isn't to go and take a family hike in, is it? The intention is either to drive them, enjoy a sunny day or a weekend away car, that kind of thing. Now, one of the best cars I think I've ever seen is a Ferrari 250 California. An absolutely stunning car. And you don't really see any modern examples of those brought out in the modern market. It's really painful to see, actually, because they're great looking things. And I imagine to drive them, they are very enjoyable. Which means people don't even have the money or the time to do those things with them. That's why they're not being bought. And that's why they're on the floor. Sales of the Mercedes SL, for example, are on the floor. But what I want to talk about today isn't a Mercedes SL. It's an Abarth 124. And I think it's a great little fun sports car that, in my mind, is the closest thing you're going to get to a modern Ferrari 250 GT. It's in no way the same performance and nowhere near the same looks. But I just look at it and think that. Now, this is the brilliance of the Abarth 124. It is an MX-5 underneath, and that's probably the most acceptable convertible you can get these days without getting too much hate is a Mazda MX-5. You know, any of the older ones right up until the modern one. The Bath 124 has this as its foundation. Made in Japan alongside the MX-5s but shipped to Italy and allowed a little Italian horsepower added to the engine. Now it's a 1.4 turbocharged rear wheel drive car. That just sounds like a barrel of fun. Of course you're not going to be competing with any Ferraris, Lambos, anything like that but that's not the point of the car and that's what I like about it. I'd love to have that sat on a driveway and look out each day and then I'll probably have a smile on my face every time I'm going into it. Yeah, you might get other people shouting at you down the road. But who cares? It's you in that and you get to choose where you go with it. Now, Sideways Sid on YouTube has a very good video on the Abarth 124. I've probably watched it about 10 times already. He's driving through the Peak District in it. I, de I definitely recommend checking that out if you haven't seen it. And also it gives you an idea of what it looks like and what it's like to drive, which I can't do for you here. But he seems to really enjoy it. I think that only bodes well for, for me, who, who is already excited but just hasn't driven it yet. Now, some people might say the wacky paint schemes are a bit of a put-off, or a bit of a negative, but I don't agree. I think it adds to that standout feature that it, that it has. Because imagine you're already going to get crap for it anyway, so why not just show it off with a bit of a strange paint scheme? I, I do really like the blue and the black. Also, like the main red with the black map, but it doesn't really matter. You know, you've got, you've got quite a few options. I think it's more about being sat behind the steering wheel rather than bothering about what the car looks like. Now, the only negative I do have to say on it is its price, but I don't think that's necessarily down to the car or it's holding its value, it's just because it's relatively new. First examples of it came out in 2018, so it hasn't even gone through the majority of its depreciation yet. So I think it's just a case of buying your time and they might start to drop. But as of the start of 2021, they're around sort of 15,000 to 20,000, and I hope to God that comes down. But it could be a terrible car, I've not driven it, and I don't have much driving experience, I drive a bloody Fiesta, so 